How you doing? Um, it's Ricardo Francis here, aka Ricardo Lifting. Today I'm talking about cardio. Um, when's the best time to do cardio? Now, some people go to the gym and they do both a mixture of cardio and weight training. Now, if you do that in one session, the best time to do cardio is not before you do your weight training, but after. And I'm going to go through the reasons why. Um, some people like to train twice a day and they would do the cardio in the morning and cardio in the evening. Now, those who understand how the body works would do this for a particular reason. Um, if you do it the other way around, it's actually you're kind of wasting your time. And I'm going to just go through it. So when it comes to you doing one session a day and you're doing a mixture of cardio and weight training, the reason you do weight training first is because when it comes to weight training, the fuel you use to actually do weight training to lift weights is from your glycogen stores. Um, that's from, that's, that's found in your muscles. Glycogen is found in your muscles. Um, if you don't know what glycogen is, go and do a little bit of research. It's basically um, what carbohydrates are broken down into to fuel your muscles. Um, use these stores to fuel your workout, to fuel your training. Um, so essentially, when you're doing weight training, you need these glycogen stores. Um, so you can go 100%, put 100% effort into it. Now, when you do cardio, the reason most people do cardio is to burn fat. Essentially, that's what they're aiming for. But if you do your cardio first, what you're actually going to start doing is burning through your glycogen stores first. So then, by the time you get to weight training, your body's not going to know what to do because it's going to be like, okay, um, I don't have any glycogen stores. You can't really use fat as fuel for lifting weights. So you'll end up being a lot more tired. You probably be so tired that you lose form and all it takes is one bad rep for you to injure yourself so that's the last thing you want to do if you're doing it 100 percent effort you can go in as hard as you can stay on point have no injuries and then you've burnt through all your glycogen stores go and do your cardio I said you're burning through fat that's the aim so yeah you might not be able to put 100 percent effort into cardio but at the end of the day what are you using cardio for are you using cardio to burn fat or are you doing cardio to I don't know to better yourself in in a, in a sport because if it's if you're a sprinter then obviously that's your aim you're trying to sprint but again it's, it's all about timing um, if you need to put 100% effort into it and you're doing it for body composition the best thing to do is do cardio after your weight training some people jump on a cardio kit before weight training um, just to warm up warm up your body and warm up is literally five to ten minutes just to quickly get blood circulating throughout your body um, you don't need to spend loads of time to warm up if you're doing if you're doing it correctly what I like to do if I ever do cardio beforehand or jump on a cardio kit let's say um, I'll literally just walk I would walk on a high incline get the body nice and warm within five minutes I'm nice and warm I can get into my weights but most times I just I just go to the exercise I'm about to do, I start really, really light, or I do a little bit body weight just to get blood circulating through the muscles. When I feel a bit warm, I can go for it, I can start putting on the weight. And then, even then, I start light and I work my way up, slowly, slowly, slowly. And that way I know my body's worked, my body's gone through the mechanics of the motion, I've embedded it in my mind, I'm ready to do it. That's the best way to warm up. Now, if you're someone who does cardio in the morning, there's a reason for it. Uh, most people do fasted cardio, and this is the best way to do cardio if you're gonna do it, like if you're gonna do it first in terms of your training throughout your day. Um, fasted cardio because you don't really have too much glycogen storage. You're only gonna get whatever you stored from the night before. After that, you're quickly gonna start burning through fat. Um, but then, how do you do it? Now, some people do fasted cardio, but they go so intense. Now, if you go in really, really intense, you actually, you actually, there's a chance of burning through muscle, and that's what you don't want to do. So, if you're going to do fasted cardio, it's best to take it nice and easy, just to work up a sweat. You don't want your lungs to be, you don't want to be huffing and puffing, because that's not the aim. The aim is to, again, burn fat. So, that's why you'll see some bodybuilders especially, and when they're doing this fasted cardio, they're in their fasted cardio state, they'll be drinking amino acids. That's to try and preserve as much muscle as possible. That's the reason they, they, they drink amino acids while they do their fasted cardio.
but again this isn't for everybody some people don't have the time to come and train twice a day some people just don't like training in the morning or can't wake up don't have enough time etc so that's why that's why they would they might do it in one session they might do their weight training and cardio in one session um yeah and if you're doing it the other way it's pretty pointless if you're doing weight training in the morning for the first time you go to the gym and then in the evening you're doing cardio it's a waste of time because again firstly it's really hard to do weight training on fasted um you can do it but again all you're relying on is glycogen stores from the night before so if you did something known as intermittent fasting and you really stocked up on your carbs from the night before you had a lot of carbs the night before then it's possible but if you're someone who times it so you don't eat very heavy in the evening um, and you eat something nice and light just so it doesn't stay on your stomach in the night um, yeah you're not going to have much energy to go hard in your training and then it's pretty pointless so you're not going to get the most out of your training secondly by the time you get to the evening you've eaten all your food throughout the day so you've stocked up on glycogen and then you're doing your cardio to burn through the glycogen it's not really going to get to the fat burning so again it's pretty pointless because you're defeating the object of what you're trying to achieve um hope this helps some of you out um if you've got any questions further questions um just ask um comments feedback i'm always open to it yeah um yeah take care and i hope i helped you